Okay, good morning. About 11.30 a.m. here in Southern California. Uh, sort of a nice day today. Not bad. We've had rain lately. But um, uh, we've had a little clearing spell now, so it's kind of nice out. You know, I don't know if I can show you this, but what we're going to do here is we're going to cut another star wheel for the hand shaper. And of course my hand shaper is scaled down to a .8 size uh, from the original, or my best guess at that anyway. So this is not quite as large. Uh, this this um, star wheel is, is an inch and three-eighths of an inch in diameter. I'm guessing the original was probably about, uh, I don't know, inch and three-quarters, 1.7, something to that effect. So it'd be 1.25 uh, larger than this. Um, the original star wheel is 12, 12 points on it, so that's what I'm making this one. The first one I made uh, that I've been using on the uh, the shaper is is 10 teeth. Now 10 teeth gives me an advancement or a feed rate of um, uh, 10 thousandths uh, per rotation or per stroke. I mean, so anyway. Uh, this is 12 teeth and this is similar to the original and this gives me a feed rate of I think uh, uh, a little over eight thousandths and I think maybe uh, I can probably make uh, 13 or 14 teeth uh, on one of these and cut the feed rate uh, down even uh, uh, more. Um, if you calculate, if you draw a line um, across three teeth and um, and look at the protrusion of the center tooth. Um, that's the amount of possible engagement uh, with the pawl. So um, in this case, I've got a possible engagement of about ninety thousandths. Actually, you know, we're cutting a pretty deep V down in there, but in reality, we only we're only using the point or the end of the of each tooth. So. Um, <clears throat> The, the ten, with ten teeth on it, um, I had an engagement of like, uh, I don't know, 110 thousandths or something. Um, so this one's about 90 plus um, thousandths of engagement. But in reality, we probably don't even need that much um, engagement. So anyway, um, I've used this procedure three or four or five times before to, to cut teeth. So we're just using a standard... Um, three-eighths in mill and um, we're, we're um, uh, using the rotary table. This hap I have several rotary tables but this one happens to be uh, automated so to speak so it's a little easier but it doesn't really make any difference. All you need is basically uh, some way to index it and some way to set it up on the, the little mill here. This is a TAG uh, mini micro mill I guess you'd call it. So. Um, I did some calculations in CAD, and I, I, I don't know if I went over this before uh, originally, but um, I'm going to hold this up and see if I can put it in front of the camera without having to move the camera. So I did some calculations in CAD to try to figure out how far the offset the, the end mill and how deep I got to go and so forth and so on. So it's pretty easy to do if you have a CAD program to, to figure this out. So. And it's a pretty simple way to make make the uh, star wheel. So anyway, at, with that, I'm going to start um, cutting this, and we'll probably take about twenty thousandths per pass or something. And I'm th I'm pretty sure. Let me let me see here. I think the um, we got to go down about uh, about a quarter of an inch, about two hundred fifty thousandths. So with that, um, I'm going to start cutting, and probably I'll I won't show all this on camera because. It's just repetitious, but anyway, we'll we'll uh, show the beginning and 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 the end of it anyway, and and um, the 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 shank here that I've got chucked up in the in the fore jaw um, that'll go bye bye in the end. Um, I'll, I'll, t I'll put this back in the lathe and and cut the star wheel off. So, um, but right now um, I've bored the hole in here. And um, 
and I've got it all set up. Actually, all I got to do is cut it off and clean it up a little bit, and we're we're off and running with another star wheel, except for putting the key in here, which I'll need to do. But um, with that said, um, we'll fire up the mill and and get going here. This is a piece of 4140 uh, steel. So you can, I've, I've cut these out of 1018 normally, but I happen to have a piece of 4140 laying around. down about a hundred thousandths right now. Um, the initial pass, you know, the initial pass can be, can be a lot more depending on, uh, we're, because we're taking off very little, but as we increase the depth, we have to um, take a lesser pass. Right now we're taking 20 thousandths. One rotation, so um, we're just going to proceed like this um, for a few more rotations till we get down to our 250 plus thousand. So I'll bring you back in a few. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes, or a little bit less, I suppose. We're down 150 thousand, and. Um, so we got another hundred thousands to go approximately. Um, I zoomed the camera in a little bit. So we're only taking off, uh, we're starting to take off ten thousands per pass instead of twenty. So we could probably take off twenty with no problem, but um, we're gonna we're gonna take off a little bit less. So I'm gonna make one pass on camera here and um, figure out where I'm at here. Need to move the z-axis down. Just go back to the x-axis and go into velocity mode. A mechanical rotary table would be just fine to do this. 
It wouldn't make much difference. You only got 12 points. So. Without any lubrication, um, I think the camera is more clear on the camera. position one again. So I'm going to shut the camera off and um, I'll bring you back in a few. Okay, it's been 15 minutes since I shut the camera off last time. We're down a hundred and thirty some thousandths. Um, so theoretically we're a little bit shy of the point and, um, and in fact we are. Um, we could probably go down another 10 or 20 thousandths with no problem but I'm gonna leave the point a little blunt um, so I think I'm gonna end it right there and um, call it quits so we're gonna we're going to now um, take the star wheel off the uh, the rotary table and leave it right in that chuck and uh, put it back on the lathe and and cut it off and we'll have another star wheel I actually have a 12 point star wheel on the shaper now so this one will actually be a spare uh, it's 4140 I think I can harden this if I want to so that might be an advantage um, <clears throat> also you know I made a previous video a long time ago uh, when I made the 10 point star wheel I don't know if there was any explanation or it was just a video uh, there may have not been any explanation in there as to what I did, but um, at least this one's a little bit more informative. And uh, now I have a 12 point, um, an, an extra one, and I think I'm going to make 13. I'm going to go on the CAD, uh, my CAD software, and I'm going to figure out how much engagement I'll have with 13 teeth. And that way we can get a little finer feed if we want to. So. <clears throat> Hopefully that's this video has been informative, and um, and by the way, um, if if you have an old um, uh, lime shaper, rapid lime shaper, and um, you don't have a star wheel, you can make this star wheel on the shaper. Um, you you don't need you don't need any advancement to make the star wheel. Um, you can just do it manually, and you can make this on the shaper. The reason the reason I didn't make it on the shaper um, was that um, I'd have to make something that's low and and uh, indexable. You know, I can index it on there. So I have I'm all set up to, to do it this way. So um, that's what I did. So hopefully this is um, informative in some way. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, talk to you later. Bye bye.